Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We had a wonderful time here in uh, Northwest Connecticut and Southern or Southwest Massachusetts and the Berkshires. We did a little bit of going back and forth to, from um, house to house, but the company was wonderful. We had um, family come in from California and we had delicious food. We had a paella on uh, Christmas Eve night that was out of this world. Fantastic uh, breakfast on Christmas Day. And then we went to more family and joined up with other people and had a wonderful Christmas Day meal and, um, and visit. It was, it was beautiful. So lots to be grateful for this year. And, um, and so we've got one more holiday. We've got New Year's Eve coming up. And then uh, the snow should start to fly here and it should, uh, I love the winter because it means that I have a chance to catch up on projects that I don't normally have time for and it also um, gives me time to do some um, self reflection and think about uh, the, the things that I want to do in the new year. So I've got lots of things coming up. The first thing that's going to be coming up is going to be the post Christmas journal. And so the post Christmas journal, if you saw the last video, you can see a flip through of my journal from last year. And it's something I like to do after the, after all the gifts are exchanged and, um, and we have all the tags and Christmas cards and wrapping paper. And I like to use those things to decorate a journal. And it's a lot of fun. And, um, and I get so many beautiful cards from, from so many people. I wanna thank you all very, very much for that. And, um, and it's lots of fun figuring out how to put it together in a beautiful journal that you can also use as a diary or a place to keep recipes or um, notes, memories whatever however you like so that's going to be coming right up and if and if that sounds interesting to you then please go to dandelion cottage design and sign up for notes from dandelion cottage because i'm going to be sending out a lot more information about that and also how to register and that's that's coming right up so there's not a lot of time to do that the other thing that's going to be coming up towards um, as we get closer to February is going to be Galentine's and that's going to be a opportunity to get together with girlfriends and have a, have some uh, girls night out make some Valentine's maybe drink a little wine have some snacks so I'm going to be doing that live I believe here in my town but at the same time, I'm also going to be doing a virtual Galentine's. So again, please make sure that you're subscribed to Notes from Dandelion Cottage so that um, you can get an invitation to join us. And it's open to anybody. We'd love to have you. Today, what I thought I would do is to continue to work on the holiday border. So I've got my watercolor sketchbook here. And true to its name the Christmas roses are blooming and I posted a picture of those earlier so I hope you got a chance to see that they're absolutely gorgeous and there there are still a lot of buds so I think it's going to be pretty spectacular this year so I will continue to post pictures of the plant as it continues to bloom but here here it is and um, and I also, I, I took off these old leaves because they were really past their prime and, and the 
nice new greener leaves are um, are all emerging so I just took this off but I thought it would be great to use as an example of what the shape of these leaves look like so I think you can get a pretty good view there and we're coming to the end of the watercolor sketchbook. There aren't a lot of pages left. There's a, there's a couple of places in between that I can do a little more decorating, but most of the pages have been started. Now, many of them are unfinished and I'll continue working on the book, but this is what we have so far for the holiday border that I've been working on. If you're new to my channel here, then um, there is a playlist and it has 20 some odd videos of all the different uh, watercolor sessions that I've had in the watercolor sketchbook here. And you might be interested in, in watching some of those replays. So last time I added the chickadee, I extended the border, the botanicals, a little bit coming along here. I just sort of sketched that in. And today what I thought I would do would be to add a little bit of a decorative element. So I'm going to begin with a very light pencil sketch. But before I begin, I just want to check my settings and be sure that everybody can see and hear me. And that looks good, okay. So I'm just using a number two pencil and I want to sort of reinforce the movement of my design through here. So something like that. What I have in mind is a ribbon. So I'm just going to kind of weave this in and out. There we go. All right, so there's my idea. And I'm just going to clean that up with a little um, kneaded eraser. So for those of you um, 
who are wondering what a kneaded eraser is. This is a kneaded rubber eraser and it's kind of stretchy. And the more you stretch it, the cleaner it gets. It's kind of a self-cleaning eraser and it also becomes warmer as, as you handle it and more malleable. So you can bend it into any kind of shape that you need and then um, you can use it by gently rubbing and it won't abrade the paper. Or what I like to do is just kind of blot it and lift off the excess graphite from the pencil. And uh, so I'm just doing a little bit of that and I will um, at the end come back once the, the painting is completely dry and I'll remove any, any pencil lines that I don't want in my design. So just want to make sure that this is all connected. Alright, so that's looking that's looking pretty good, I think. Okay, all right, so for my paints today, I'm going to be using three colors. I've got yellow, red, and blue. I'm just gonna move my flower over, make room for my palette here. And I'm going to begin with a very pale, kind of a neutral tone. So I'm just going to take some of my red, some of my yellow, dash of blue, whatever's on my palette here, so that I can have a um, sort of a warm gray, kind of a beigey gray, just something like that. That's good enough. And then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to begin over on this side and I'm just going to put a light wash over my ribbon. I'm going to leave some areas for highlights. just kind of very quickly get this established on my page. And by painting very lightly It allows me to make any little changes or corrections that I may want to do before I fully commit to my values, my tones, even even my drawing. I'm still I'm still sketching with the brush.
and just weaving that behind the foliage. I'm just going to turn my book so I can get inside the, uh, the gutter here. Get that connected. Okay, so there's the first wash of very pale color. I can just test that to see how dry it is with the side of my hand. And that's pretty dry, so I'm going to go ahead and use my kneaded eraser to just clean up any excess pencil lines. And I will give you a close-up in a little while once I, once I get this going. Sometimes I like to leave the pencil lines. I like the... Um, I like how they tell a story of the process of doing the sketch and um, giving it that more sort of spontaneous sketchbook quality. But for this one, I've spent a little more time on it than usual. I think this is the fourth, maybe the fifth session. So we started with the holly, then the ivy, and then the hellebores, and then the chickadee. So this is the, the fifth session. And so I'm looking for a slightly more finished look to the painting. All right, so now we're ready to get in here and add some more color. And for this, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my red, yellow, and blue, 
mix them all together, but this time using less water, more paint, and I'm using a very small brush. Um, I normally advise my students to use as large a brush as possible so that you don't get hung up with the details. But at this stage of this painting, it's all about the details. So, um, I'm, and also I'm using the brush as a, as I would a pencil to sketch the design as, as I work. So I'm going to use this very fine tip to get into these places. And if I get my head into the camera, I'm sorry, but I have to get a good look at this. So what I'm doing with this slightly darker tone now is I'm beginning to establish my shadow areas and where my darker values will be. And what I mean by values is the darkness or lightness of the tones. So um, this, is, this is several steps darker than what I started with, but it's still in the middle. So I have um, a lot of room to get darker if I choose to. Off to the side, off camera here, I have two containers of water, one for clean water and one to rinse my brush out with. And I'm being careful to make sure that I'm using nice clean water so that um, I'm not getting any tones in the areas that I want to have the highlights. And so for the highlights, I'm using the white of the paper which is actually not a white, it's much more of a cream tone, very beautiful, sort of a natural, creamy color. Now, even though the ribbon is going to be very fine, it will have a slight edge, a tiny fraction of a millimeter edge. And so on the shadow side, I can go ahead and indicate that, that there is a, a thickness go. <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing over on this side of the page.
a little bit of shadow under the bird. Get my loop. Drawing with the brush. Okay, there we go. So now I've got I've got my ribbon fairly well established. I'm going to go ahead next and just add a couple of um, darker accents where the where the cast shadows are and so I'm going to begin with a kind of a, vi a blue violet mixture and just pick up what's on my palette here kind of do a little housekeeping as I go along now um, I'm not going to finish at this point. I just want to establish these these areas to really to remind me of where they are so that I can continue to develop them, have a chance to look at them, make sure that I make all the adjustments that need to be made in, in terms of of color and value. So I'm saving I'm saving a little bit of my dark in reserve in case when when everything's done I I have a chance to look at it from a distance and see what else I, I might want to do. So under, under the petal here, the shadow of the, the loop, and I'm making sure that, I, that I'm keeping a nice soft edge. 
under this flower. Now I'm going a little bit lighter and cooler over here so that this section appears to recede. So just a touch. Okay, all right, so there is the, um, the ribbon started. It's not finished, but before I go any further, I'm going to pull out my special gold metallic paint, okay? And I'm going to begin to add a little bit of metallic sparkle to the picture. So I'm just getting this started. Oh, I have some messages here. Good morning, Cheryl. Nice to see you. And Sherry, how nice to see you. And she likes it. She says, um, what do I have you hooked on, Sherry? <laughs> what is it? Um, are you talking about the Christmas journal or are you talking about the watercolor sketchbook? I mentioned a couple of different things, so I'm not, I'm not sure which one you're, you're thinking about. Okay, so I'm going to, um, just add a couple of touches of the gold. So um, I'm still softening up the, the pan. There's a little bit of gold. And I'm going to use that just in the sort of the middle tone 
to light areas. So something like that. And over here, and I, I hope that when I, um, when I move the page in the light that the camera will pick it up so that you'll be able to see this. It's a lot of fun. And I'm just kind of um, softening that towards the highlight because I want it to look very shiny. So I'm, I'm going to have to go back in and do a couple of different passes on that. But let's just see if the... Oh yeah, I think you can see that, that shine. Alright, so that's a lot of fun to... Um, to add to your holiday border. Now I am going to get my head kind of close here to be able to see exactly where that paint is going. You know a lot of times after I do these live videos I take my glasses off and I get very close to the, to the painting so I can see exactly what's going on. Half the time when I'm painting with the, with the um, camera rolling, I'm, I'm kind of guessing. <laughs> I'm very, very nearsighted. All right, and I'm gonna add a little of over here. Where the light where the light is striking this this ribbon. What is it about glitter? <laughs> what is it about shiny objects that we are so in love with? It's a lot of fun to um, be able to add a little bit of sparkle every once in a while to the project. I think you can I think you can see something happening there. All right. So that's what I'm going to be um, finishing up this afternoon. I'm just going to go along my ribbon and keep adding the um, the beautiful metallic gold here and there. I'm, I don't want to overdo it, but just enough to make it fun. And when I'm done, of course, I will share that with you in the thumbnail to the video. So if you are not already subscribed to Notes from Dandelion Cottage, please subscribe. The link will be either in the description below or there's also a button on the the banner of my Facebook page that says sign up that will take you to where you need to go and I will be happy to send you more information about the upcoming classes both live and online and 
There will be a supply list, the materials list. There will also be a place where you can register if you'd like to join us. And a little more information about what's going on here at Dandelion Cottage. And uh, there may even be some more pictures of the beautiful Christmas roses. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working at that. There's our little chickadee grabbing the edge of the ribbon. And I've just kind of woven that through the border to add another design element to the picture and, and to help it all hold together. So thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, I will be back tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for Paper Crafting Thursday. And I have a really fun project for you. I think you're going to like it. And it's going to be just in time for New Year's. Um, and I'm going to uh, actually take it, take it easy this week a little bit. I'm going to clean up this... Um, tornado of holiday activity, relax by the fire, play with the cats. The, um, they all got a Christmas stocking and, uh, and they each got their own mouse in, in their own special color, black, white, and gray. And, um, and Bracken actually got his Christmas hat all over again. I'll probably post that video of him opening up his Christmas stocking over on my personal page, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you, Emma. Thank you very much. And they, it looks like everybody likes the, uh, the gold. Oh, okay, so, so Sherry's talking about the watercolor sketchbook. You have to have a watercolor sketchbook, Sherry. It's just so much fun. And, um, it doesn't have to be nearly as elaborate as uh, this particular design turned out. I mean, it could just be something that you bring with you when you go sit outside or go. You can even have it in the car with you. So if you're um, driving in the country or around town and you have a few minutes to pull over and do a quick study, it's, it's a lot of fun. All right, so I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Stay well, stay happy. Stay creative, and I will see you next time.